Hello, my fellow readers. This is Mrs. Jardine here, coming at you to build more words. We've been practicing blending our words, and today we are going to practice building some words with the short U sound. Remember, short U says up, like I'm pointing up to the ceiling. So I have here some letters already. Okay, let's move these letters up. So we're going to start with this word right here. And I'm going to model for you how I blend these sounds together to make a word. Are you ready? Here we go. R, uh, rub. This word is rub. Okay. How about if I change the word rub and I want to change it to sub? Hmm. What do I need to change to change rub to sub? I know. I have to change this r to s. We'll move that up here. We move down the s sound. Okay. Now blend it together to make sure Mrs. Jardine did it right. Ready? What is this word? Is it sub? Nice work. All right. How about I change the s to a? Will you blend it for me and tell me what word I have? Blend word. Did you say tub? Nice word. Like you may sit in a bathtub to take a bath. Or hmm, what else could be a sentence for tub? I want you to think about it. And maybe you can share it with me the next time you see me. All right. How about what if I change the ending sound. So the ending sound is over here and I'm going to take that away. I'm going to put a g in its place. What letter says g? G. That's right. Okay. Now I'm going to give you a second and I want you to blend these sounds together to make a word. What's the word? Did you say tug? Have you ever played tug of war? Pull the rope. Mm, fun, fun, fun game. All right, let's change the t to a r. I'm going to give you a second here. Think of the sounds and build this word. Word? Did you come up with the word rug? Do you have a rug in your house? I have one by my front door. Rug. Oh, let's see. Let's take that beginning sound away and put in a B in its place. B says B. I'm going to give you a second. Can you blend these words, uh, these letters together? What is the word? Did you say bug? There's a couple definitions for bug. One could be a bug like an insect bug, like a fly. And the other one would be bug like if you have a sister or a brother that bugs you, like they're doing something where you don't want them to be by you and they keep talking to you or something, sometimes you can say, stop bugging me. Bug. All right, let's see. Ooh, instead of changing that initial sound, let's change this ending sound again. Here we go. I'm going to move that up and put an N in its place. Give you a second. Blend. Word. That's the word bun. Who likes to have a hot dog bun with their hot dog? All right, how about we change the B to an R? Blend these letters together and make a word. Word? Did you come up with run? Run, nice. What if? Hmm, I'm going to change this middle sound. I know we've been working with the uh sound, but I'm going to take this. And what if I put the short A sound in its place? Remember, short A says ah. So think about it now. Blend these sounds together and build a new word. Ready? Word? Did you say the word ran? It's the past tense of run. It means that we've done it in the past. 
Hmm, let's take that initial letter away and put an M in its place. Okay, so this vowel still says A. Ah. Are you ready? Blend. Word. Did you say man? Very good. Let's change this middle sound one more time. Okay, I'm going to take away that short A and I'm going to put a short E in its place. Short E says E. Eh. Okay, so blend. Word. Did you come up with men? Men means more than one man. So here we had man. That means one person, one man. And then we have men, more than one. Crazy how you change one letter and it changes the whole word and it changes the whole meaning of the word. So when you're reading, make sure you're carefully checking all of those letters and making sure those sounds are matching the letters. Until next time, my friends, remember, the more that you do, the more you can do.